Morning s i n c h a Today we come to video number 19 in of Angel a c t u a l of Angel Security Center series. Who am I? I'm a n s i n c h a You can find me at my Twitter if you got any question about Angel uh, Security Center d e f o l t You can find more. Uh, tutorial or hands-on lab at techconnect.io about the Azure Security Center. Okay, let's get started with today's topic. s t e r t i f i c a t e used in Azure are S.509v3 certificate and can either be signed by other and other trust certificate or self-signed. When creating a certificate, you should Ensure that its subject name match the domain used to access the target Azure services. However, keep in mind that you cannot acquire an SSL ticket for the any platform managed DNS n a m e s w a p e Use a minimum 2048 bits encryption to create self-signed certificate in Windows. Use the new self-signed certificate CMD l e t which replace d e p r e c i a t e d m a t c h d e s e utility on Windows. You can use SSH dash t g e n A common challenge when building cloud application is how to manage the credential in your code for authenticating to cloud service. Keeping the credential secure is an important task. Ideally, the credential never appear on t o a p e r workstation are not. Check into source control. Azure Key w a l provide a way to securely store credential secret and other key. But your code has to authenticate to Key w a l to retrieve them. We manage identity for Azure resources features in Azure AD solve this problem. We features provide Azure services with and automatically manage identity in Azure AD. You can use the identity to authenticate to any service that support Azure AD authentication, including k e y w a l without any credential in your code. A uh, managed identity from Azure a c t i v e r i t y allow you allow your app to easily access another Azure AD p r o t e c t e d resources such as Azure k e y w a l The identity may is managed by the Azure platform and does not require. You require you to provision or rotate any secret. Your application can be granted two type of identity. A system assigned identity is tied to your application and is de- deleted if you if your app is deleted. An app can only have one system assigned identity. System assigned identity support is generally available for Windows app. A user assigned identity is a standalone. Azure resources that can be assigned assigned to your app. An app have uh, have multiple user assigned identity. User assigned identity support is in preview for all app time. Azure Storage provide a layer security model which enable you to secure your storage account to a specific set of support network. When network rules are configured, only application request data from over the specific set of network can access a uh, storage account. An application that access storage account when network rules are in effect require proper authorization on the request. Authorization is supported with Azure AD credential, a w a l l y account access key or SNS token. By default, storage account accept. Connection from client on any network to limit access to selected network. You must first change the default version. Making change to network rules can impact your application ability to connect to Azure Storage. Setting the default network rules to deny block all access to the data unless specific network rules that run access are also applied. Be sure to grant access to any allowed network using network rules before you change the default rules to deny access. 
One way to protect an Azure services is to make it highly available, very responsive, and monitor its performance for unresponsive back. Azure Front Door services offer this protection AFD, enable you to define, manage, and monitor the global routing for your web traffic by optimizing for best performance and instant global failover for high availability. With AFD, you can transform your multiple region consumer and enterprise application into robust, high performance personalized modern application APIs and content that reach a global audience with Azure. AFD work at layer 7 or HTTP or HTTPS layer and use any task protocol with TCP and Microsoft Global Network for improving global connecti connectivity. Based on your routing method selection in the configuration, you can ensure that AFD is routing your client request to the faster and move available application band. An application backend is any internet facing service hosted inside or outside of Azure. AFD provides a range of traffic routing method and backend health monitoring option to suit different application needs and automatically fill over model. Similar to Traffic Manager, AFD is resilient to failure, including an entire Azure region failure. AFD is not a new service. It, it was developed a year ago to enhance its being and maximize of all three to five services. AS3 Application Security will enable you to configure network security as a natural extension of an application such as you then can group VM and define network security policy based on all Based on those group, you also can reuse your security policy as here without manual maintenance of SPC IP address. The platform manage the complexity of SPC IP address and multiple rules set, allowing you to focus on your base business logic. Consider the illustration. In the illustration, NIC1 and NIC2 are member of the ASU web ASG. NIC3 is a member of the ASG Logic ASG. NIC4 is a member of ASG DB ASG. So each network interface in this example is a member of only one ASG. A network interface can be a member of multiple ASG. Up to a zero limit, none of the network interface have an asset network security group. NSG1 is a shape to both subnet and contain the following rules. Allow HTTP inbound internet, deny database at all, allow database business logic. The rules that specify an NSG as the source or destination are only apply to the network interface that are member of the NSG. If the network interface is not a member of an NSG, the rules is not applied to the network interface even though the network security group is associated to the subnet. Note that application security group have several limitations. Most importantly, they cannot span virtual network. That's all for today. You can find me at my Twitter and also for today's blog, you can refer to that.to slash